Hi guys, so Captain Paul here, and today we're aboard this 43-foot Alvin. It's actually probably closer to about a 50-footer because it has some custom features put on it, like the bulbous front end and the rear. This is what they call an expedition yacht. Uh, this boat was built and set up to run, this is a Bahamas boat. It's not necessarily a looping boat. Uh, you could loop it, but you'd have to take the riggers off. Uh, and the tower does fold down, but it's really designed to go to, uh, you know, the faraway places, great economy on the fuel. You know, you're gonna go into the brand new engine. Uh, I believe the engine was replaced in 2008. It's got about 2000 hours on it. So just, you know, just a good engine package. It's got a single, it's basically a Ford Lehman, but it's a, a, uh, after a certain year, uh, American Diesel bought it over and then they uh, took it over. So now they're called American Diesels. Um, but you can see just a beautiful helm up here. Uh, you can drive this boat autopilot. It's got everything. Uh, to take you to any destination that you'd want to go to in absolute comfortable and style so anybody you like you nurse ladies you nurses that want to go to uh, tropical islands and help out or uh, some church that wants to go help this is the boat this is the boat and at the price point you could not build this boat you could not put it down on paper and build this boat uh, for what uh, mike's asking for it with all the brand new work that he just done to, uh, did to it uh, you know, he's just asking what he's got into the boat. And right now he's into the boat for 120 k So anyway, enjoy the video. I hope anybody has any question, you know, I'm going to put the listing on um, uh, Boat Trader here in the next uh, couple of days. This just kind of gives you a head start on it. Anybody that's interested in an exploration yacht, uh, you know, in that 50-foot range that's really economical. This boat is economical to run, and it's ready to go to the Bahamas. You just turn the key on it and head over to the Bahamas tomorrow on it if you wanted to. All brand new oil coolers. Uh, uh, it's got, it, j and when I say that, I'm talking zero hours on your oil cooler, zero hours on your transmission cooler, zero hours on your um, heat exchanger. It's all brand new. They just, he, Mike just said, I want it all done. All new Vectron, all new solar system, all new canvas. New batteries. New bat yeah, they put lithium batteries in it. I mean, it, the list just goes on and on and on. It's, it, you know, and, and it's done. It's ready to go. A couple little cosmetic things on that bottom rail right there. That's it, man. Just, it, th this is it, man. It's a turnkey boat, um, and they don't get any cleaner, and they don't get any nicer than this boat right here. Anyway, got any questions? Make sure you hit me up. Thanks, guys. Chief, what do we got here? We got Blue Max here. Yep. Just unbelievable boat. Nice this, boat. Chief, this is, can't beat a record because it's the the other video on the one that we just sold it sold before we even did, let the video go out blue max look chief do you even know what that is right there I do. that's called a bulbous front end uh, -huh. uh do you understand what that does for you yeah stability yeah like at six knots it takes out uh it takes the energy of the wave out it makes the ride much nicer then look at these chief what do you think these are right here let's look at these Look at that right there. I just want you to show that right there. That arm right there. Brand new canvas installed like less than a week ago. Yeah. That, the canvas is, look at that. It's got the uh, covers for the bug screens on there. Just unbelievable. Nice. Look at this boat, man. He just did a solar system on it. Uh, brand new solar panels. New battery. Uh, Vectron. Uh, it's got lithium ion batteries. Engine. We've got uh, all brand new coolers. Brand, and I'm talking within the last week, Chief. This last week, the last couple of weeks. Nice. You know what Mike said? You know what he told me, Pete? Spell it. Chief, he said, if you can get 120K for it, that's exactly what I have into it. Let's let this baby go. You know what he's going to move up? I think he wants the um, uh, uh, 50 foot to fever is what he's looking at. Nice. Anyway, let's go up here on top, Chief, and let's show him up here on top of the bridge what they get for their money because uh -huh. he just had brand new sea deck installed. You got your grill right here, your magnet grill, propane tank. Uh, all your lithium batteries are inside uh, this comp these compartments right here, all sealed off. You got storage, uh, big storage box right here. Look at this, you got your dinghy, uh, dinghy rack right here. Just an incredible boat. So now he just put all this sea decking on there. Right. Just just finished like literally yesterday. He said, don't, don't come do the video until all the sea decking's done. Look at that, all brand new. Nice, is that computer generally? Yeah, it's all computer. So check this, I mean, there's a lot of rigging. There's a lot of stuff going on here, Chief. You got your uh, radar, you got your tower. 
Are you guys that want to loop something like this? Uh, this is not what I would call. You could loop this boat, Chief, but it's really set up to go to the Bahamas. This is the Bahamas Mamas. This is an explorer. Yeah, this is an explorer yacht. This is an economical, what we would call. Oh, he put the solar on. Yeah, he put brand new solar panels on it, Chief. Wow. Look at this, all brand new canvas, all uh, bug for the bugs to keep the bugs out. Look at that, all roll up. Nice. Just unbelievable. Floor is nice. Yeah, it is. Just all this decking. That was just done like literally in the last, uh, I think they finished it yesterday. And I want to show you guys something. Look, the railing has been done on the top deck. Look how beautiful yeah. it came out. And yeah. The only thing that's not done on this boat is the railing around the bottom. Bottom deck, yep. But look at this. Just absolutely gorgeous. This boat is pretty much, Turnkey. yeah, this is uh, probably one of those boats that, you know, for the right buyer, for that guy that wants to go to the Bahamas and in an explorer type yacht economically, this is it. Doesn't get any better than this. So right here, this is the bird right here. So you just lower the bird, you, you take the wrench uh, crane, lower it, and that bird goes in the water. And you can use those as, uh, you know, while you're on anchor, you can, uh, for stability or while the boat's moving. Paul, why are you showing me these teak decks here? Well, I want to show you something about these teak decks here on Blue Max. Uh, because these teak decks were removed and replaced with new teak decks. And you notice that there's no bung holes in these teak decks. That's because the original owner, um, or not the original owner, uh, the second owner, put all brand new teak decks on here and had them glued down and so there's no more t leaky tiki's on this one these all of these portholes have been replaced all upgraded the ones in the bedroom are like literally about twenty five hundred dollars a piece this is the same windlass that we run on southern estate love that windlass love that windlass. I, I mean just unbelievable windlass look at this thing the canvas was just uh, it's probably about uh, probably about a month old on the canvas and the solar system was just done last week uh, just a quick walk around the decks here it's beautiful decks well, how much uh, solar did he put on? They put, I believe he's got 800 watts of solar oh, nice. should be able to run this boat completely off the solar panels not counting the AC so because some of the custom features of this boat is the extension to the rear here that's not for a 43 album that's not stock and then the bulbous front end. Can you, can you guys, somebody, uh, I want to hear in the comments what you guys think the price something like that would cost today to get done. Anyway, let's take a walk inside it and see what it looks like. As we head inside right here, I wanted to show you this port because this port is important because it's for cross ventilation. These come up over the windows to keep the rain out. Just, uh, it's, there's so many features about this boat. Look at these, these, these stainless steel custom pieces here for the rails. That's all custom made pieces. Alright guys, so now we're in the forward berth of this. You got your two bunks beds right here, or you can have this as a couch. This folds up, gets out of your way. Uh, you can do whatever you want. And then this has the a forward uh, bathroom up here. Heads are all in good shape. This has got a separate shower. In. There's a bathroom right here. This is the shower too, but it, they use it for storage. And then it's you're, you got your sink. Man, it's ice cold in here, huh, Chief? Just oh, yeah. yeah, really yeah. nice. Walking in here. Yeah. Uh, Mike's been gone for about a week off the boat. Yeah. Look at the panel right here, just all super clean. This is the new Vectron system that was just installed. AC generator, just super, super clean install here. New inverter right here. Everything's, everything he just put, he just spent a ton of money on this boat. Yeah. The boat, uh, he's um, um, at home uh, taking care of some business, but you see up here, new marine radios, um, pretty much everything Furuno. Autopilot. The only thing old on it really is the older um, uh, radar, but it works fine. So why replace it? Uh, this has uh, refrigeration. So this has got uh, 12 volt uh, uh, cooling plates on it for the um, re refrigerator. So it's always running. I mean, th when, this is what we call an off grid. No, this is this thing you go sit out on the ball. I mean, it's got a beautifully ru uh, running generator in it. These heat plates right here. Look at this. He just put all this backsplash in. A little bit of crown molding right here. Just absolutely gorgeous what he did here in the kitchen. Just absolutely gorgeous. Wash machine right here.
Let's walk down in this master bedroom. This is like one of my favorite master bedrooms out of all the boats. So this is what you get with a trunk trawler because uh, you either got to go to the uh, center console or you go to a trunk trawler and these trunk trawlers just have these big beautiful bedrooms in them. Look at all the woodwork in here. These cross uh, ventilations for, the, for these ports right here. Just absolutely freaking gorgeous. Let me see that camera there, Chiefer. Mm -hmm. Let's take them around here. You see the bedroom. Look at that ceiling fan. So again, like you said, you could take this boat um, on any adventure over to the Bahamas. It's really, really set up to go to the Bahamas. Uh, separate shower, toilet, you know, granite countertops. Just beautiful. TV over there. Absolutely gorgeous. You know, yeah, I mean, there is no uh, work on the wood right here. This is all just perfect. Absolutely perfect. Big closet here. All right, I'm going to open up the engine room, Chief, and see if we can figure that out. Again, we're down here in the engine room. That engine is, is new. It's a, um, it's not a, uh, a Ford Lehman. Um, the guys over at American Diesel built it, so it's called an American Diesel, but it's the same as the Ford Lehman. It's all, it, it, that was replaced um, in, the ch uh, in the Chesapeake over at American Diesel, um, and it has about 2,000 hours on it, but just, you know, brand new motor. Look at that all brand new Vectron over there, all of it. That was just installed. Uh, this is our generator right here. I'm just going to give you a tour of this engine room. It's got the big alternator on there. What's amazing about this boat too, it only has one through hull. Um, and then all of everything comes through this manifold right here. Um, and then uh, you uh, d just direct the water as you go. So brand new AC pump right there. Really, really nice. This is the water maker right here. I've been told that it's not completely functional yet but it does have in, in the process and somebody that knew what they were doing could probably get that up fired up fairly quickly and fairly reasonable really neat and orderly here's the generator right here he said the people that owned this before Mike they lived out on the hook on it they never they never brought it in so they ran the generator uh, back there you can see the pump that's for the for the AC that's a commercial pump uh, for the AC and the refrigerator Got your two uh, Raycors back there. Just absolutely gorgeous boat. Just all done right. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Anybody has any questions on this boat, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Just an amazing boat. Blue Max, you know, I, I knew about it about uh, probably about six months ago. Got involved with it a little bit. Just an amazing boat. Mike did an amazing job with, the reef, with a, a current refit of the boat. And then you had a guy that was just a next level uh, mechanic uh, that was, oh, it was just, it's hard to explain all the, all the features and everything about this boat, but it is an amazing boat. You will not be disappointed if you come take a look at it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe. And just one more thing before you guys take off. You never know when these boats are going to pop up. I never know when they're going to pop up. They surprise me. Right now we got the 2004 uh, main ship. Very clean boat. Uh, we got the the 20 the r27 the r29 rangers we got two rangers right now and it we so much appreciate it when you guys uh pick these boats up and somebody buys them from the uh, you know from from the original purchaser anyway thank you guys bye peace out bye